So, um, community notes while letting people once again. That was uploaded, what, Monday evening? And I was sad because I uh, couldn't have seen it uh, because I, I, I could have shown it. Yeah, no, was it was yesterday. I don't, I don't remember. I could have shown it on stream. But now, now we're back. We're back at it again. And because it's uh, uh, here, we're going over here. So, too late, it's all Fox. <laughs> so, let's go! Hey, what's up, guys? Right here. So today we're going to do another round of community notes violating people. I love this. This is a staple on this channel at this point. We've done I four or five those. videos like this, and you guys seem to really like them. So we're going to do it once again today. Now, for your information, in case you don't know, the community notes system is one on Twitter that is a communal fact check system where applicable users can apply a note under a tweet if it's spreading something like misinformation. And if that it's note such gets a good enough system. upvotes from the community, it goes live under the tweet. And this is something that Amazing is not system. perfect, but it's a very good system and generally pretty reliable. But one thing is for sure, it often leads to really funny results, like the examples we're going to look at today. Now, before we look at those examples real quick, I'm happy to share that my code REV35 <gasps> will get you 35% off your advanced GG order over the next couple of days. You can see it ends at the end of the day on the 24th, cops. and you can use this code to get 35% off your but shakers as well as their energy supplements. Him. And it's a great time to restock or to try out this product. I always stand by Advanced GG. Their stuff is really good. Not only delicious, but also very effective as well. So again, all that information will be in the pinned comment. So here's the first example. And this will be the only person I'm going to censor when it comes to their name. Because I'm pretty sure this person has a humiliation fetish with the amount of terrible tweets they make. So I'm not going to participate in that well and give done. them the direct attention they want. But they say this. I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you think Jenna Ortega is hot, you weird as shit and pedophilic. She looks 12. She doesn't. And of course, the note simply says she is 21. Now, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Oh, no, If you no. look at Jenna Ortega or any other adult woman and instant... Jesus. Uh, yeah. As it says that, she's 21. Based on Wikipedia. Like, bro. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's seven. So, like, here, like, it says she's 21. Ugh, I, I think we might have to move myself a little bit down here again. Hehe. <laughs> Instantly think of children, you're the one with the problem. Legit. And again, this keeps happening to Jenna Ortega because she looks youthful. People keep making tweets like this, and it's really, really bizarre how people want to infantilize her so strongly. But this person <laughs> would dispute the note. With a quote Hi, saying, community so notes was not needed so at follow, all. Marco. When did I ever deny her age? Literally right in the tweet, but the note <laughs> says, original poster called people pedophiles for being attracted to the 21 years old Jenna Ortega, which was a factual error and misrepresentation of context. Community oh my God, she was got... indeed needed. <laughs> she got now, destroyed. Now, recently we talked about this character, Aphrodite, from Hades 2. Now, the uh -huh, irony is, of uh -huh, course, uh -huh. a lot of game journalists are praising this fully new oh, character, but that. then attacking Eve from Stellar Blade, who is fully clothed. That was so cringe. But we also saw people claiming that Aphrodite in that game is androgynous. We saw this user saying that her face was designed to be androgynous to represent men and women's attraction. What? And they also claimed that the main protagonist, Eve from Stellar Blade, was made with someone who was only using one hand, implying that they were, Ain't no you know, way. their selves off. But uh, that's, besides, you know... Ain't no way, this person just... Uh, is she stupid? Is she dumb? I just can't... Aphrodite is not the god of sexy women, she's the god of love. Yes, she is. She... The god... The, yes, the god of love, and the god of sexy women. It's together. It's both. Have you seen her? She's a sexy woman. Aphrodite is a fucking sexy woman. You can't fucking deny that. And like, saying her face was designed to be androgynous to represent men and women's attraction? No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. The, no. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Insulting in many ways, especially since the uh, there's a good number of women on that team, but... This note would be attached saying Aphrodite has historically been depicted as a symbol of feminine beauty, often depicted nude or wearing clothing that accentuated her curves and elaborate jewelry. 
She is not in drugs. Yes, yeah, yeah not at all. Gotta pack it up here, Claire. You have been disproven. Legit. Here's another one saying this is a psyop to make you gay. Muscle mommy fetish is literally homosexuality. And you. What? 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 Come again. Come again. Come again. Like. What? I'm gay now, the mo mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry. The mean fit is gay now, guys. Actually, like this is a trap, guys. This this is a trap. You're all gay now. Like if you like this, if you think this is attractive or hot or anything, you're officially gay now. You can see the notes simply saying it's not gay for men to like women. <laughs> Every time we do one of these videos, these community notes violating people videos, there's always at least one note trying to convince people that liking women as a man makes you gay for some crazy extension. It's gay to like women, guys. I like to be choked by those muscular thighs. Also, hi. Hi! Also, very understandable. Very understandable. Very respectable. Good opinion. <laughs> Chokes on them. I am not sexually attracted to anyone. Yo, thanks for the follow super. Thank you. Of reason. And here's another one. And of course, every time this conversation about muscular Most women comes up, they always use pictures of the same woman who is Lean Beef Patty, by the way. She's a popular creator. She is known, obviously, for being uh, very fit. And people mm -hmm. always use her for these weird claims on the internet. Just like, leave her alone. It's Actually, so strange. Don't man. rope her into your Just nonsense leave her alone. Like Here's another one talking about Scarlett Johansson saying, Scarlett is so mid, bro. And then with circle, a circle this, like... This... Guys, guys, guys. I don't know if anyone in chat here knows this, but this tiny curve here... That's actually natural. That is natural. This this tiny bump here, that's very natural. Mm-hmm. This is this is nature, guys. Like, yes, women can actually work out. Moonlight <laughs> underscore Kitsune just cheered five bits. SMH all these are too human for my tastes. Let's <laughs> Have fun. Thanks for dropping by, Tyson. But yeah, like. This this tiny bump right there, that, that is natural. And people think it's like it's not, I just say they've seen too much porn. They've seen too much porn. On her stomach here, and in the note it says note needed farming engagement for revenue is prohibited by user guidelines. We'll get into that in a second, but basically like <laughs> Paul. Listen, dude. It's 2024. If you don't like women, that's okay. You can just say that because like this is true, outrageous. True, true, true. And with subjective opinions it. like that, there used to be no option for a note because it's subjective. But now we have this rule, which is very real, by the way. This is something that Elon Musk <laughs> yeah, I've tweeted seen out that. a few days ago saying, any accounts doing engagement farming will be suspended and traced to source. Let's now, go. Now, of course, this is the most Huge open rule w. that's ever existed because... Basically, every tweet is Huge a form w. of engagement farming. That's like the whole point of tweeting. But of course, I think he means the more dramatic examples of this. People baiting responses and intentionally spreading around misinformation. Accounts like this. We exist in a time where there is an actual scoreboard for people <gasps> getting hit with community notes. Wait. There are people with almost 400 what? notes applied to their tweets. It's absolutely insane. And one thing that all these accounts have in common is that a lot of them are spreading like internet uh, conspiracy. Who, like I've seen a couple of people mention Shuki. Who is Shuki? What? Who? What? Whom is that person? Is that a company? Is that a person? Who's that? I I, I need some I need some um context. It is a Brazilian page or uh, doing what? Bullshit. And I don't mean like genuine conspiracies was or people questioning the reality of things or really poking for the truth. I mean like genuinely insane, completely disprovable claims that they make in their tweets. Like some of these accounts, they'll make a tweet like, you see this? 
This image is actually a symbol of an underground sex cult run by billionaires who eat babies and is uh, uh funded by the CIA. And then the note on the tweet will say, that is a picture of a plate of mac and cheese. Like these people are genuinely psychotic. And they spread so much misinformation and they're rewarded because their accounts are monetized. And it's insane that these people keep getting away with this stuff and people even take them seriously in the first place. But here's some uh, another account that's definitely going to crack their way into that top 10 right. to keep this up. Historic Vids, a gimmick account that no uses uh, exactly what it says. Historical Vids. Here's one saying how they used to make rope before technology. <gasps> this is technology. The says, this is technology. Yes. I like the very <laughs> simple notes like this where you basically disprove what they're saying in only three words. Those are my personal favorite. But uh, here's another one from Historic Vids saying... This is what your brain. Uh, uh, Shuki is like Hassan has a news page. Oh, I Incels see. Look like when you learn something new, and the note says, "This is what your brain cells look like when you learn something new," and the note says, "This is completely false." Thanks. Here's my problem, <laughs> historic vids. Did you run out of content? You have the most open source of stuff to talk about. Historic vids. Any video taken of human history since recording was uh, something that we could do. That is a lot of content. And the fact that you're randomly posting this that has nothing to do with history is very strange. Like, bro, your gimmick is the easiest one out there. And the videos you're sharing, you're not even making them. You're just taking samples of other people's videos based on history or something like that. It's so weird that you have to go to this length and then get noted anyways. Jesus. Like, it's embarrassing. Here's another one. Oh, I've seen this same chuck, picture baby. spread on multiple nature accounts saying the baby suffocating. smiling shark. Oh no. And the note says I fall that for shark it. is suffocating. I yes, have fallen all these for nature it. Nature accounts like, oh, look at the beauty of nature. And they're literally suffocating a baby shark. No. Trying to act like I'm this so is somehow bad. cute or something. It is Here's cute. Like, he's a happy face, but he should Hawaii be underwater. That's if you true. Native, a thread. Oh, not a good start. So the note here says, Tourism makes up more than 20% of Hawaii's GDP, over $2 billion in tax, and supports hundreds of thousands of jobs. Stopping tourism would destroy all of that. You should Legit? visit Hawaii. Like, Hawaii's income from tourism is so insane. Like, what do you mean you shouldn't? Huh? Cool thing. Why do people not understand animals a little bit at least? Like, right. That's post keto allergic to grass. Uh, no. <laughs> At your own discretion, as long as you are mindful of the local communities. Now, that is something that can be said about traveling anywhere. And I've seen examples of people making similar claims about Japan. You, you're invited anywhere in the world. You'll find yourself very at home in places like Japan or Hawaii if you're just respectful. That is the bare minimum. Yeah, just when be you're respectful a guest about things. Somewhere, including another country. Oh, what is it? Just be respectful. Hashtag free Hawaii. That is a right. universal language. There's pretty much no misunderstanding. Just be respectful of the people who live in that country. That is it. Here's another one saying list of things that don't hydrate you. Plain water. Let's stop it right there. Let's stop it right there, right? Guys, water doesn't hydrate you. You heard it here first. Water doesn't hydrate you, but everything in that list hydrates you. Okay, so water doesn't hydrate me. I got it. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like this woman has never even drank any water ever in her entire life. Milkshakes hydrate you. Okay, woman. And then a list of things that oh do God. hydrate you. Milk, gelatinous broth, <laughs> orange juice, raw meat. Raw meat? Raw I mean, meat. Look, what? if you're going to eat raw meat, like, uh, you're going to definitely need some hydration because you're going to be spilling out your insides because you're going to catch diseases from this. Okay, the but the fuck? note's very simple. You can ignore all this garbage here. Water does, in fact, <laughs> hydrate you. It is like almost conspiracy level when you have to say... That water is hydrating you. Like, you have to convince people that yeah. drinking water will hydrate you. Oh, my God. Here's another one saying, subway station in Gongzhou, China. This would be impossible to build 
in the West nowadays. Uh -huh. And the note says, this is Leipzig, Germany. Yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, the one on the bottom right looks very German to me. Like, that looks very German train station to me at, well, in fact, Germany. Like... I can't with these people, like, bro, don't take my culture away from me! This is German! Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> don't you call it Ted! <laughs> they took my t culture away, guys! No! No! Yes, I, I saw people in the replies to this saying, this is literally my commute, and you're telling me this couldn't exist? In Germany, like, I don't understand that the, sim <laughs> the sympathizing for China is something that's very, very strong on Twitter. It's including full of tweets like this saying, cloud. under communism, uh, you already know this tweet is ass. You already know two <laughs> words in, you know it's terrible. Under, under communism, communism, every family will have food on the table. Right. Where the note says, communist countries undergo food shortages regularly nowadays. Before the fall of the Soviet Union, not only were these shortages frequent as well, but communist governments also made them happen purposefully under the pretense wow. of collectivization. And Holy that is definitely a very shit. interesting section of history if you want to check that out, but very true. Get violated. Here's another very disturbing note. This comes with a backstory. Wake up, I wake believe, up. Oh, uh, God. Moist Critical made oh, a video no. going over this if you want to check that out. I have actually not but seen this, this video, though. this is very, very strange. So... If you didn't notice, about a week ago, we had a solar eclipse, okay? Very yes, rare event. Yes, we did. And this individual, with over 100,000 followers on Twitter, by the way, who's like a astrology-type account, they thought this was the sign of the apocalypse. No and way. they actually acted on it. And during the solar eclipse, she murdered her own family and offed herself in response to this belief. She genuinely believed it was the end of the world and took her whole family down with her. It what? I wanted to say she needs to go back to history class. Not history class, bro. She needs to go... She just needs to go back to class... F hands down. Like, why did she need to take her family with her? Why did she need to take her family with her? Like, her, like, um... Doing a game at despawn? Fine, right? Like, do whatever the fuck you do with your own fucking life if you think the end is near, right? Natural selection at its fucking best. But how dare you take your family with you? Three-year-old child survived beyond the road. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so horrible. Like, when we say family, is it like her parents and like siblings? Or her husband and her children? Like... Oh my god, it says it there. Her partner and their eight-month-old child. Oh my god. She thought she was the. Oh. oh my. Holy shit. Wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. If you believe a new world is possible for the people, retreat now. There is power in choice. There is power in choice. Repose to make the choice for the collective. What? the end of the world also the mayas yeah we had multiple of those throughout the entire span of the world now though like not history class right like i meant to correct myself there but uh, legit just go back to school they teach that shit at school at least at my school they taught me that shit right i don't remember what class in really but they did teach us like This is insane. It's a very, very bizarre story. Like I said, other people have made videos on it. 
but it, it's definitely it's very tragic terrible terrible holy stuff. shit but here's another one saying i experienced my first earthquake in new jersey okay we never get earthquakes the climate crisis is real the weirdest experience ever and the note huh? says new jersey uh, sits on a fault line has nothing to do with climate change yeah obviously yeah, it's like, a little more huh? rare to have an earthquake in like huh this is just this is just stupidity like huh I climate crisis is real, yes, but <laughs> these two ain't connected, bro. <laughs> these two ain't connected. <laughs> oh, New Jersey, but yes, they are on a fault line. That is a fact. It has nothing to do with any sort of climate change. Oh and my also, the God. way people reacted to that earthquake was hilarious. Within literally hours, there were people selling shirts saying, <laughs> I survived the earthquake in New Jersey of 2024. It's like, it's very bizarre stuff. But here's another one. Uh, speaking of climate change, this user saying, is it time for Greta to release a swimsuit calendar or something to raise awareness for the environment? Uh. And they get noted saying, this image appears to have been digitally altered to make Greta Thornburg's breasts appear larger than reality. Wow. Yeah, you know, I think Greta's pretty annoying, but this tweet is weird wow you are a weird person for making this tweet that not is only what so captioned, weird. but also photoshopping her body uh, what the Brother. fuck this is weird weird stuff oh my god here's another from kamala harris ah the vp saying nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed where the note says as district attorney isn't kamala she the harris one that does that oversaw 1900 convictions for marijuana offenses some of which resulted in jail time Thank Bruh. Like, <laughs> is she trying to get the Twitter cloud with that? Like, what? what's she doing? What's she doing, man? I think she was high when she did that. Thank God like, for the what's community the... notes, because people eat tweets like this up without knowing yeah, the context. Yeah, actually, those community is notes are so good. Subject. And here's the final note saying, uh, Cybertruck is savage on off-roading trails and handles the mud like a champ. What? And the note says this is not off-roading because they are on a road. Like, yes. actually, like... What? What? Uh, uh, y'all can read it, but it says, yeah, Cybertruck is savage on off-roading trails and handles the mud like a champ, like... This is a road. This is a fucking road. What are you talking about? Brilliant, simple, and effective note. But that is another round <laughs> of community notes. Wikipedia link to a road. <laughs> oh, I got the link. The link to a road. The link to the description of a fucking road. Holy shit. Violating people, like I said, I enjoy this, this little segment. I know you guys do too, so we'll do another one of these in a couple weeks, maybe a month. And uh, as always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's video in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Holy and I'll shit! See you next time. Holy shit! What what was that? Oh hi, Sherlock. What what are you doing? He just refreshed my page, I guess. Thanks, Sherlock. <laughs> Oh, holy shit, here you go, guys. Oh my god. I can't. Some people need to stay in school longer. I think dropping out of school should be illegal. <laughs> they should keep you in school <laughs> forever. <laughs> oh my god. What are you saying, people? Mm -mm. I can't. This holy shit. No, I'm going to be stupid and you can't stop me. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, let's uh, close these two tabs down. Some people lick the windows and it shows. <laughs> I lick the window and the kid. <laughs> what? Are you